today um, I don't know how many of you have watched Don's um, morning video or afternoon I'm not sure what time it must be afternoon over there or evening anyway besides that his 90 day story today was about our um, group that we have on we've changed it to Monday mornings well it's Monday morning for me really was it no Tuesday God oh, love it see don't know what day of the week it is when I get all kerfuffled with my different shifts. It's Tuesday morning for me and I had to get up super early. So let's stick the new teeth back in and put the brain in to go. So what we were talking about today um, in our little group was about likes and ego with our 90 day journey. We were talking about how um, some people's videos are getting a lot more likes than others. And how it's our ego that's getting in the way that we try that we we want likes on our videos. And I actually had a conversation about the exact same thing with Michelle the other day, about it's our ego that wants these things. But then when saying that, what I came to realize with talking to Frederick about it was, although it's our ego that likes it, that we're finding other people watch our videos, which makes us feel good because like we're, we've got people following us and we've made new friends and, and that's great for the ego. But it's also a valuable lesson. If people are not following your videos and liking your videos and commenting on your videos, I'm thinking that maybe you need to find a different way of doing them. Perhaps when it comes to advertising and if you're doing video advertising, that if you can't even get like-minded people on the tribe to like your videos, that maybe you're you're not tweaking it quite the right way. Because here we're making our friends through our video challenge and how we express ourselves and what we do. But we've made friends with total strangers on air through that within the tribe. Now we're also trying to do that out there in the public where there is a bunch of other like-minded people that are lost. Oh, I've just made it go all blurry. That are, that are lost, <laughs> there we go, it's back again, and looking for something. So we need to find that way of being authentic and being interesting and getting people to like us. So although saying that it's, it's very egotistical by what, seeing how many people like these 90-day videos, it's also very educational. So on that note, I would like to add cooties to me I got the the email this morning from um is it Athena um yeah Athena from the SFM tribe and I was featured in there as the um what was it called members spotlight and I'm like cooties I got featured and you know it makes you feel really good so if we feel really good about being featured on something like that or we feel really good by getting likes from our 90 day challenge. Can you imagine how awesome we're going to feel when we do a video out there in the big bad world and total strangers who we've never met and maybe never meet start following us and then start liking us and then start becoming people within our tribe and they become our little protégés that we can help um, teach along the way. So what Don was saying as well this morning is a lot of people have forgotten that it is about the people. And one of the reasons we have to find a niche group, which is basically um, photocopies of ourselves with slight differences, because every photocopy does a hiccup, right? So we're looking for little mini-me's. And that, the reason we're doing that is so that we can help them grow. So once we've been in this journey for... Um, a year and we get two people underneath us three people five people ten people underneath us once we get to that stage we need to nurture these people to help them grow and help them prosper and help them find their feet and so this is where the people side of it come in and you can't just be out there doing adverts 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 and getting these applications and then those applications turn into leads and those leads turn in or was it the other way around leads turn into applications and then just let Stu and, and Jay look after them because those people might get lost within the big bad well it's not the big bad um within the within the tribe if they don't know how to show their voice and be out there and be authentic and be real maybe they need to 
You know, like when you're teaching your babies how to walk, they just need someone behind them just in case they fall. And that's what our job as a leader is, is to be that support behind them. Not to do it for them, but to be that encouragement and that support behind them. Or like when your babies are first learning to walk and dad's behind them like this and mum's going, come on, come on, come on, you can do it. You know, this is what we have to do. So don't forget about all the people that do join underneath you and keep just going for the dollar sign and, and oh, I've got another person, I've got another person. It's not like that. If you look after the ones you've got, they'll stay with you and the SFM forever. I've seen other people talking about, oh, someone dropped out or then they dropped out and then they came back again and all this sort of stuff. And I guess too, some people do get lost on their journey where um, they left because it wasn't giving them what they first thought it was going to give them. But if you're authentic with your advertising and genuine, Michelle said these words to me the other day. I said, I think I'm doing a very slow process because although I'm getting a lot of people that are very interested in what I'm talking about, I want these people to eventually become, you know, people of the team as well. And I don't know if I'm going the right way about it because I'm not pushing my advertising. And Michelle said to me, it's going to be a longer, slower process, but the people that do join me will never leave. And I thought that was a really nice thing to say. And it was, I don't know if it's true, we're yet to find out, but I'm hoping that it is because I do know that when people sign up underneath me, because I have such a caring nature within me, I help other people, as you guys probably already know. That's why I give away all my information for free. And I stay extra hours at work when I don't get paid for it. And I go, I don't just put the 100% in. I do put the 110% in and so forth and so forth. And that's just me because I am a carer and I am a giver. Um, and I am learning to receive as well because I learned a val valuable lesson that way. But um, you have to, if you want to receive, you have to give. Yeah, so, but you have to, no, that's the other way around, isn't it? I'm a giver and I'm not very good at receiving and I'm learning how to receive because I had to put the shoe on the other foot. If I'm trying to give something to someone and they don't accept it, then that makes me feel really bad. So I had to learn to realize that I don't want other people to feel bad. That's why I'm a giver. So therefore, when someone's trying to give me something, I have to learn to accept it. And that's all part of this journey as well. And it's all part of learning from our videos that we're doing right here and now on this 90 day journey. Okay, that's it for me, guys. I hope that gave somebody some value and insight on putting everything into perspective about this 90-day journey. It's not all about, um, you know, roses and sugar and, and all things spicy and all things nice. It's not just about letting our feelings go on here. It's also about learning how to do a video to attract your like-minded audience. So I'm... I'm always about the education because I I'm just um, one of these people that just loves to learn all the time. I suck up all sorts of things. You know, it's probably why I speak a couple of different languages as well. Not well, but I do speak a couple of different languages, three languages I think it is. Anyway, that's it. I'm out of here. I've got to do some more study before I go off to night shift again. All right, TTFN everyone. Bye-bye.